Oh, here come the sheep, and they're in, over here now. Yeah, I found a goat. Oh yeah, those are goats. <laughs> <laughs> sheep, bat. <laughs> He said, he said, they'll, 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 they'll cut We need to go to the sheep. So my mom, dad, and brother are out here today. And we're showing them the homestead and some of our new animals. I can't believe how big their feet are. I know. Do you feel them? Their claws yeah, are super sharp. Dirty. Look at though. Well, I'll tell you when they, you know, their, their back legs, when I do that, like, see that little real quick? Scratch you up? Yeah, I mean, it's zoom. They can scratch you, yeah. That's, that's, I remember mean, I mean, you know, I was telling one who had 4-H and stuff like that. It was really, it was really kind of fun. We took him to state fair and all the other things. You, you know, there was a showmanship class and all the other stuff. I wonder if that rabbit's thinking, I want to go back in, or if these rabbits <laughs> are thinking, I want to come out. <laughs> yeah, somebody you says, know? Somebody says, I get, I this is not the driveway. <laughs> says, somebody's giving me more attention than the others. Yeah. They're so soft, though. Yeah. So they will they ever try to bite you? They'll nibble. Sometimes. Yeah. I mean, you know, one of the, blood or there's like a, this black hurts. baby bunny that we've got out there that really does like to bite you. It got me pretty good on the hand just the yeah. other day. Yeah. Yeah. You know, it's just like anything else. It's, some of them will nibble at you and bite you. Do so, they react to like when the dog's barking and stuff? Do they ever, yeah, doesn't phase them? I don't think so. I was telling them uh, too, in case you ever see a, 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 a bunny, it's absolutely just freaked Randy. out. Kathy Sometimes they'll there. lose control oh. of their back legs and they drag it. They mm. never get it back. Mm. It must be some kind of spasm thing. But once, once if they ever go and they ever see a, a rabbit dragging its back legs, they'll never get it back. They just might as well butcher it. Oh, here come the sheep. And they're in, over here now. Yeah. Oh, well, those are goats. Oh, yeah, those are goats. <laughs> <laughs> sheep, bat. <laughs> You're pretty good with rabbits, Dad. Well, I only had them for 4-H forever. It's funny, the uh, the boys like hanging out on the bottom of their cage, and all the girls like to be up on the top of their half. Well, because they like to be serenaded. <laughs> it, goes, it, go, it goes way back, <laughs> doesn't it? It goes way back. So do they... Do they get more furry during the winter? Will they get? I haven't noticed. I you'll notice. Know, you'll, you'll see them shed more. I mean, they'll be. You'll notice them definitely shedding in the spring here. Mm -hmm. But they shed a little bit anyway. Look at that. I'm gonna go say hi. <laughs> the sheep. They're all. They're all. What, what's going on? <laughs> Animal crackers. Hmm? That's a nice, relaxed bunny. Yeah, he's pretty comfortable. That is cool. You know, one thing about animals, you know, when, when we were on the farm, Dad always started off, like, right off the bat, no matter what you're doing, tell the animals what you're doing. And uh, yeah, I remember when I was a kid, like, you talk to them. But now it's just automatic, like when you work with a horse or whatever, you tell them what you're going to do before you do it. And the more you talk to them, the more they get comfortable with your voice. Might get but are to, they like, get back are they like, are they just normal or are they sharp? <laughs> they, they shed a little bit. Yeah, that's a little bit of, <laughs> little bit of fur coming yeah, off. Like, get your leg back up in there so you feel really comfortable. Yeah, we kind of, he says, I need to hide and relax just a yeah. little bit. Yep. All right. Good sheep. <laughs> you know, when we had showmanship class, there's things that you'll, you'll the, uh, the judge will ask you to do different things to animals. One's to sex it, to find out if it's a male or female. The other one is like show its teeth, because otherwise then they'll have you do like, you, you, you run your, your uh, hand under legs and straighten out, because you can find if there's a, a, a kink. I mean, it's like a purebred deal, like you can find out if you want how good the animal is by different things you go through in the showmanship class. But right. you show the legs, you show this, you show that. But we used to work with the rabbits a lot, and they're very comfortable. Then, like this one, obviously, I'm new, she's new, or he's new, and so you know, it's like, you know, the best program I ever saw and worked with animals was called the Horse Whisperer, 
and how uh, an animal will be led into a corral and the guy is outside the corral first and he'll just lay on the corral and that horse is kind of uncomfortable and he just stays there maybe two or three hours and then he'll sit on top of the corral and the horse is you know kind of checking out and pretty soon and again it might be two or three hours he stands up leaning against the fence inside the corral then he might take 10 feet inside mm -hmm. the corral and he'll just stand there and it isn't until the horse touches him before the training wheel starts mm -hmm. Wasn't that Robert Redford? No, that's that, the, that was the movie. Mm -hmm. No, but the true horse oh, whisperer, oh, okay. you know, yeah. how they go. It's, it's, it really is kind of neat to see him. Good. That's, that's one thing when I was on the horse. farm, I always wanted to, you know, work with him. I just was going to have this horse named Cherokee that I was going to, you know, work with. But, yeah. All right. Well, let's go ahead and put the rabbit back, and I'll show you guys our new Where's turkeys. The turkeys. Yeah. Where, See, are, they where are the turkeys? <laughs> they don't bite or nothing? No, they're just little. No, they're just little dudes. Chickens. Oh, this is Butterball. <laughs> can, you tell, can you tell the difference <laughs> already, bro? Not yet, not oh. yet. They're pretty sweet. So we've got three of them, and I'm calling them Larry, Co, <laughs> no, Mo. Larry, Mo, and Curly. Curly. Oh, he just pooped on me. That's cool. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's, that's, the, that's the danger. That's all right. Oh, oh, oh. This one's oh. very calm. Yeah, some of them are a little more calm. Don't poop on me, though, okay? You want to see what it looks like, Mom? Ooh, that's <laughs> disgusting. We'll get it in a minute. This one's shivering. Yeah, they're, they're a little... That means he's just about ready to dookie. <laughs> <laughs> Here, I'll trade you, Dad. I'll trade you for a second. He's already done, so you're safe. <laughs> Here we go. I don't actually, Here, I don't actually know hey, Brian, if they're boy that, or girl turkeys. Is that, is that so the names right might there? not be appropriate. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, you got poop on your face, buddy. <laughs> well, that's that's part of the turkey. Oh. Yeah, this one's got that too. Here. Let's carry the turkey out to the light where we can you want, have a better light. That one's fine. Yeah, it'll be okay. It's not like nothing. Yours just just spilled. It went on the ground. It yeah. pooped. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It got. It doesn't smell like nothing. Smell. I don't. <laughs> oh. What does that do? Get a... That is. We got to show Old them what washer. this is. That that is our turkey or not our turkey our chicken plucker. Oh no! It literally <laughs> spins around and gets all the feathers off. That's crazy. That really makes the chicken dizzy. <laughs> <laughs> the chickens are dead before we put them in there. <laughs> they think they're going to the fair. Yeah. <laughs> it's the whirly. Whatever. So, does it cross over to be a turkey plucker too? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm sure it could. Probably different capacities for different sized birds. Oh, this one's going to sleep. That Wait, is a cute little you know, turkey. This is amazing mm -hmm. how warm. They are. Yeah, they're warm and they're yeah. very calm. Yeah. yeah, you don't listen. Because they know they get to live at least till Thanksgiving. <laughs> <laughs> I'm putting him back. He's cold. Okay. So, like I said, I have no idea if they're boys or girls, but uh, we're not raising them for eggs. We're raising them for meat. I never had a turkey egg. I like them. They're not. <laughs> I like them. Did you get one mm -hmm. that's already pooped? I don't know. That wasn't that bad. You want to see? No. <laughs> no, this one's pretty. They're pretty chill. Yeah. Huh. I think I like them better than the chickens. What is this little thing? You said that's a little. That's just part of a chicken. Part of, part of a turkey. I keep saying the wrong thing. Hi, buddy. That's where the nuggets go. <laughs> chicken wing. That, 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 that's how sweet that little chirp is. I know. It's pretty cool. I like them. I like them. goats. Mom, so this is what's to come. <laughs> oh. They are sweet, though. They really yeah, are. This, this, this one is Did so Did they come real. in the mail, too? This one is so relaxed. No, we, we got these at a store. He's, even, he's back. even on kind of his side, and he's so relaxed. Yeah. It's Come like a little, comes ears. in like a little lunchbox sized cardboard box, kind of. Like a happy meal. It's <laughs> more or less a happy meal. Happy meal for turkeys. This one's almost going to sleep. He's laying his eyes closed. He, she. <laughs> They're just teeny. Yeah. Yeah, how old are they? Just uh, probably a few weeks old, I think. Do they eat the same things that chickens eat? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, it's sick. Yeah, you know, I'm really surprised. It. I mean, it's really on its side. You know, you'd, you'd almost, mm -hmm. I mean, it's very comfortable, but. 
So I'm having ham for Thanksgiving. Yeah. I'm going to put him back, but I just think that's so interesting how comfortable he is. Oh, he's got you. It got you? Yeah. Listen. Must have had enough moisture. Yeah. Yeah, you, you well, feel I'm it. I'm not doing it. <laughs> Hold my hand, Mom. Can't you turn it off? No, Brandon. Can, you can't what turn it off. Is the poop grounded you? See, <laughs> oh, that's what you want. That's what you want. You want the goats to know and respect the fence. Uh huh. Did they touch it? They did. They got oh. their. They got their little noses uh, shocked. Yeah. After you know, after they get conditioned, you can actually turn it off. Don't they, they touch me. Yeah. <laughs> it do, it doesn't hurt. Yeah. It listen does. though, listen. Can you hear it? Yeah, it's crackles. Yeah. Oh, I want to come in. Yeah, come on in. Do you have any treats? I'm glad we put that little two by four just to support it while you. Uh, oh, oh, that's real good, Mom. It took oh, me a long time for yeah. them to to eat out of my hands. Oh. I don't have any more. Isn't that kind of ironic though? They like animal crackers. <laughs> <laughs> it is. You want to try one? Yeah. You need to do like this? Sure, I'm gonna break Yeah, yeah, just on, your, just on your palm. And... Here, buddy. Here. Okay, whatever. Here, Come look here. what I got. Rogue's a little more brave here. than Valkyrie. Here. Good job. That's gonna wait for the other one. You gonna eat both of them? Well, here, I'm gonna break it in half then. Here. Okay, look. Boop. I'll come to you if you're such a scaredy cat. Here you go. Okay. Oh, oh they got little horns. Yeah, they've been disbudded. So they won't ever go back? Oh, they uh, do. I don't think so. Not uh, chewing with his mouth closed yet. That one over there, the white one, Valkyrie? She's not as not as friendly, huh? Yeah, or she's a little, little more shy. I'm going to see if I can round her up. <laughs> <laughs> Want to feed the goat, Dad? Oh, can I have a cracker for her? Yeah. See? <laughs> Another one. Oh, really? Oh, he saw Brian. She well, saw Brian. I gave you some. I'll give him here. That one's a little more. What about your brother? <laughs> here. here, give me. Do you have oh, any more? Listen, look at this one. How gentle. Oh, that's it. What's that one saying? That's Valkyrie. They're Valkyrie. Because they probably don't know that. And that's Rogue. Here, Rogue. Let's see if we can get him up on the stump. Sorry, no more treats. Look. Look. Fine. <laughs> <laughs> Listen to them. <laughs> like they've been listening to Bruce Lee. Now, did we have the chicken run up the last time you were out here? No, just uh Okay. Just the chicken coop. Do you have you had any uh Raccoons or anything? Try to get in there? Yeah, there were, a raccoon ate some of our baby chickens. Got uh, in there? No, they we had a a temporary uh, chicken tractor just outside the run here, and the raccoons got into it and ate a few chickens. So you have one male, and these are all females. Is that right now? These are all female hens. And you don't have any rooster at all? No, we no. ate we ate them all. Is this one been in a fight? Some of them pick on each other. Yeah. Oh yeah. Last time you had a bale of hay in here, and they had it spread all over the place. It's a it's the strangest thing. How we've tried it. we've tried different things. The yeah. hay isn't my favorite because uh, the hay will start growing everywhere else once I once I muck oh. it out. So will they only lay their eggs in up there? 
pretty much, pretty much. Occasionally I will find an egg out here if uh, one of them suddenly has an egg by accident. <laughs> right. <laughs> but they st generally stick to the nest boxes. You're being mean. You're, this thing's mean picking on everybody. Which mm -hmm. one? This one right here. There's a pecking order. That's what they, that's why it's called a pecking order. <laughs> Yeah, but look, he, he got his whole front beak ripped off. His whole front. There's one chicken in there with like a like a genetic defect where it's got a scissor beak, I think it's called. Well, it's not the beak, but you know all the red? Like all the... Mm. All the, the red? Comb. He it's got, the comb. Yeah, he got okay, the comb. okay. So he picks on everybody. He's, he's combed over. Is that you or one of the sick chickens? <laughs> <laughs> it's a quarterback making a, a football call. Yeah, that is kind of yucky in there. So do they go, go all in there at night and sleep? Yep, they uh, know when it's time to go to bed. That's crazy. They like being up high on their roosts. That's their natural instinct is to actually perch in trees in the in the wild, so chicken roosts up in the chicken coop yeah when I mean, Charlie was out here this is before this was here and that was all shut off yeah she'd hear them <laughs> go up there but yeah they really like um, almost anything green as a chicken treat See, there's the scissor beak red right there, that brown one. Oh, yeah. <laughs> in the springtime, <laughs> I'll, uh, I'll pick weeds out in the yard by the garbage can full and just dump them in there for them, and they have to go crazy. Yeah, it's amazing how they just, yummy, I'm going for it. You know, as a whole, though, I'd say they're mean to each yeah. other. Yeah, here, let's, let's put that one in through the top here. That's all right. I never knew they liked grass. Yep. It's green. They eat it right and smoke it. So is this really good fertilizer for your other plants? It can be. Yeah. yeah. It's a. Uh, Chicken poop is super high in nitrogen, but it's uh, what's called too hot to put on your garden right away. It has to age. Mm. It'll burn them up, burn your plants up if you, yeah. Age. So you mean it just got to sit out and kind of get less compost. strong? Compost. It just composts down. So do they each, they're each laying, what, an egg a day? How's that work? You know, we're getting about uh, close to 23, 24 eggs a day at this point. Which is uh, a which is lot. a lot for us, yeah. Yeah. So there was nothing but ivy out here before, and uh, it's a lot better now. Yeah, that's amazing. You could never even see the creek. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it looks good. The, I mean, this has got to be hundreds of hours of the work. Yeah. These uh, ferns were transplanted here, and the uh, rhododendrons are all transplanted here. Let's yes. make this area nice. Oh, These uh, log rounds from. Some of the trees we took out, the stepping stones. Yeah, this is crazy. So what what did you do with all the stuff you tore out here? You just hauled it up? Yard debris. Wow. Slowly but surely. Wow. Yeah, that's amazing. Mm -hmm. That looks like it's been there forever. The, the tree? Little, you know that little cross creek? The little cross bridge? The bridge, yeah. Yeah, it's been there a long, long time. I think Mike built that early on. And so, and then there's a fence right there. Yep, that's a livestock fence to keep, because the, the people who own the fields back there are renting them to a farmer who grazes cattle. Wow, yeah, I can't believe all the work you've done. How high does water get, like when it was really flowing? Oh, not much higher than that. It's a pretty small creek. Let's walk down there. Yeah. These trees, of course, were growing and we dropped them down to be uh, 
natural uh, barrier. Yeah, because you were just borders. Not worried about rolling down last time I was here. Yep. And so he supported it up. Yeah, we put in a couple of posts on this one and as then well. This this wasn't here. Yeah. So you fell this or that. And then the where, did you did you bought all these? I had these things put in. This was going to be a bit much for me to tackle myself, I think. Right. And I wanted to be in professionally. But I established where the trail would be, and uh, this is great. Just hauling these up and down here would be a job. Of oh, job. this was a. They were they were a good strong crew. They did a lot of sliding the stones down the slope, actually. <laughs> that's cool. Yeah, that's super cool. So this is going to be eventually a better trail. You see how mucky and muddy it is right yeah. now. Yeah, that's cool. Trillium is coming out. These white flowers on the hillside. Oh, that was that. Okay. Yeah, how cool is that? That's super. And it's like it. Instead of having nothing for your backyard, you have like a backyard, you know? Yeah, I yeah. mean, there's a bunch of, it's really a lot of character to it. It's, it's a like forest really wilderness good. as a backyard. Yeah. But before, there's no access to anything. Mm -hmm. I mean, I don't know if they ever had it like this. Yeah. But like, you know, this is awesome, Brian. Thank you. Yeah, it's good. Good. Christmas tree for next year? <laughs> no, that's going to be living there forever. Yeah, that's what they do. <laughs> they stuff their mouth with straw and... Build their little nest when they're pregnant. Well, go build something. Well, see, she just took some over there. Mm. Yeah, in the little nest box in there Look. for them. <laughs> okay, you'll put it in there. I thought they were really Wait. sweet. I remember them. <laughs> I don't want to see now the poop. Oh, oh. look. Look at her now. She's got all kinds of that stuff in there. Things you learn. So Next what things thing. do you like the best? Well, rabbits are the most fun because they're the cutest probably. Yeah. Chickens are the most productive because you get the eggs and you can sell the eggs. Right. But I think Wendy's favorite is the goats. Yeah. That's what she's always wanted. Mm. Mm -hmm. What's going on, dude? These are the ones that come in the boxes? This one, we got mail order. Yeah, so I so picked these things up at the post office. Isn't that crazy? Do you have these ones all named? No, we're, uh, I've stopped naming chickens because I couldn't keep them straight. Right. So what's, uh, what are the green buckets for? Those will be, uh, can be nest boxes if we turn this into a chicken coop proper. But at the moment, they're just, uh, they're just sitting there. Kind of blocking, uh, now, blocking the exit. Can you tell me what what's the chicken? What's the proper mean? What does that mean exactly? Okay, so right now this is a right now this is a grow out coop for us, which means the chickens are just in here. Uh, they're not laying eggs. They're just getting bigger before we put them into the chicken coop. Mm -hmm. uh, if we put them in the chicken coop, they'd be picked on too much. So they need to be able to defend themselves a little bit before we throw them in with a the picking order. Right. But this could be a chicken coop in and of itself if we uh, cut out some little doorways into those uh, green green um, crates there so they could have uh, nest boxes in them and they could get into them and lay their eggs and right. and uh, we'd have a second chicken coop. We, right. we just haven't uh, used it like that yet. So these guys are a few months old? Yeah. Almost. Not quite a couple months old. They're getting a little more brave. You know, mostly they've been stay hanging out underneath the uh, that little area so they could feel a little more secure. But they do venture out a little bit. It's nice to drive by and see them in the little window. That's when we at, came by. They were, yeah, they were looking out when we came by. But I'm real happy with how these uh, this feeder and water is working out. Yeah. So you built this too? Yeah. Was there a plan, or you just kind of built it? This was a plan we found uh, online. Another YouTuber 
come up with this uh, this design. We had just a few modifications on it, but uh, for the most part, it's it's how he designed it. You want me to put this down? Yeah, let's uh, let's go ahead and do that. Bye, guys. Getting my brother's perspective on things out here has been pretty cool. He's just recently moved back to the area and hasn't seen the place in a couple of years. This has been a nice reunion. It's good to be together as a family again.